All right, guys, today we're taking a look at our top five games on the Oculus Quest 2 for all my shooter fans. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a brekkie is the gaming tech, gaming techie is the gaming tech, gaming techie. Alright guys, the first one on this list is a favorite of mine that we've actually been playing since the PD, PC days. And I'm talking about Robo Recall. This game is a fantastic arcade shooter. One of the first games that I played in VR and it is fantastic with the touch controllers and stuff. And now it's been brought over to the Quest and it still looks really, really good. Uh, obviously not as good as the PC version, but it does a really good job and the gameplay is frantic and fun. I always have a good time playing this game. I'm a big fan of arcade shooters, and this one is probably the best arcade shooter on the Quest currently, and it's just a lot of fun. If you've never played this one before, definitely check this one out. That's Robo Recall coming in at number five. The next one on this list is actually a relatively new game. It actually came out of, uh, just a couple of weeks ago on the Quest, and it is Blast On. Blast On is uh, another game from Resolution Games. Uh, they do fantastic work over there, and this game is fantastic. It's a 1v1 shooter. It's kind of like a bullet hell shooter where you have all these different weapons around you and stuff, and you're on a dueling stage, and you're grabbing these weapons frantically and shooting the other person. The other person is dipping and dodging out of the way, grabbing shields, grabbing different guns, and, and just trying to eliminate the other person. It's kind of like uh, a mixture of, like, like I said, a bullet hell shooter and like a street fighter kind of thing where you're trying to be the last person standing you're fighting each other with all these weapons and stuff and trying to be the last person. It's so much fun to, to, you know, dip and dodge through here and kill your opponent with these weapons and stuff. A lot, a lot of fun. A lot of cool weapons to use. And uh, yeah, this one's really solid. This is uh, Blast On coming in at number four. The next one on this list is a game that everyone's been waiting for to come to the Quest. I started off on the PC version, and it's one of the most popular shooters on the platform in general anywhere. And of course, I'm talking about Onward. Onward is a game, if you're into like the tactical shooter, this is the game for you. Uh, this game is a lot of fun to play. It's got that, uh, it kind of sits in the middle of like, it's definitely not as fast paced as like a Call of Duty or anything. Uh, it it kind of sits in the middle of that, but it's, it's frantic fun. A lot of different modes. They keep updating the game on the quest over and over again with new maps, new modes. Uh, there's, you know, terrorist hunt, all these different kinds of modes in there. If you guys will enjoy the graphics, just got an overhaul on the quest too. And it looks fantastic. And it's just so much fun to play, guys. Uh, this is one of the most popular shooters, of course, that has been around for a long, long time with us now. And the fact that they brought it onto mobile just made it even more popular now. Um, and they did an outstanding job with this one. Like I said, the graphics are great. The gameplay's uh, solid. And uh, I think this is, if you're a shooter fan, this is definitely one you don't want to miss and you guys need to check out. Um, like I said, it's a game everyone is playing. So go ahead and check out Onward coming in at number three. The next one on this list is from uh, First Contact Entertainment, the folks who made um, Firewall Zero Hour on the PSVR. And this is Solaris. They brought this over to the uh, Rift platform and the uh, Quest platform, and it is fantastic. Even though this game is uh, expensive for what you're getting to start because they call it like a preseason, kind of like a, a, you know, just an early preview of what the game is to offer. So there's only one mode in here and six different maps, but damn, is the gameplay fun. If you guys are fans of like Unreal Tournament and Quake and stuff, this is the game for you. Uh, I've been playing this game nonstop, and regardless of the fact there's only one mode and six maps, I come back to it time and time in the game because the loop of the gameplay is so fun. And the fact that the devs are a dev that I already trust to add a lot of content into the game like they did for their first game, I have no doubt that they're going to keep adding mo maps and modes for this one. And I'm excited for the future of this game. Guys, check this one out. This is Solaris coming in at number two. And the last one coming in at number one is, of course, none other than Population One. This game is fantastic. This game just dropped today. For everyone else but i've been playing this game for a long time now and it is fantastic uh, it's so easy to get into so much fun to play you get three of your friends and it's a battle royale there's 18 players in the match so you're in teams of three and you're trying to be the last team standing and the gameplay is just so solid you would think that you would get motion sickness and stuff i was nervous about that but 
you don't get motion sickness. At least I never got motion sickness in it at all. Uh, and there are comfort options in there as well. And there's some really cool mechanics like reviving your opponents here. You have to actually take these, uh, take the deliberator and, and shake them together for a certain amount of time. So you need to have the actual opportunity to do it to be able to save your friends. Uh, you can climb anything in the world and then jump off and fly to another section. The controls feel really, really solid. Uh, it's, like I said, a lot of fun to play and easy to build and all that stuff. And uh, when this game drops today, it's going to easily, I think, rise to being one of the most popular games in VR. I think a lot of people are going to gravitate towards this one. It's already been getting a lot of buzz, and I think when it releases, I think this is a game that everyone's going to be playing. So, Population 1 is definitely my number one shooter on the Oculus Quest. Guys, check that one out. It just dropped today, even though I've been playing it for a while, and I don't think you guys are going to be disappointed, especially if you're fans of the Battle Royale genre. All right, guys, so those were my top five shooters on the Oculus Quest. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and, set, and found some shooters that you guys can get into. I love shooters. I always have, so I'm glad to have these on the Oculus Quest. If you guys like videos like this, make sure you tune into the channel. We'll be posting more of these top fives on the Oculus Quest all the time, so make sure you subscribe. And if you guys have any questions about today's video, as always, leave it down below. If not, thank you guys for watching. Till next time. Game in tech is the game in tech. Game in techy. Game in tech, eating brekkie is the game in tech, going for a brekkie is the game in tech, game in tech is the game in tech, game in techie.